we're going to need bias. So for the outside edges of the bag here, I've made the bias and this is um, cut at an inch and a half and then folded down to five eighths. And we have come up with these little bias keepers. So on this, I've already made my bias and folded it. And then this is our little 5 8 bias keeper. And what you do is you make your bias and then you wind it onto here. You can stick a pin in the back. Now I originally made um, from this particular color just over a hundred inches and it wasn't full. I could have probably got maybe another 50 inches on there. So these are great. And the, you can buy containers. This is a container I had that um, there's three and they all stack up together. And they had dividers inside. So I've taken out one of the dividers and I can keep all my bias on my bias keepers in here and it tells me what size they are. So we are selling these now. If anyone's interested, you can go to the handspanrulers.com website and see those. So I'll be using this one. We also need another bit of bias uh, to go down this side pocket here and to go down the middle. So that you'll cut at two inches and fold it half and half into the center. So I've got my little iron on. I'm going to do that and just show you how that works. So I've cut a two inch strip and I've just um, used my glue stick on the end and folded that down. My other ironing board is downstairs in the classroom so I can't use that. And I need my one inch set. So this little beauty is going to fold the bias for us. So I'm going to thread the end up through one hole, fold it side up into here and then just pin it to the board with a double pin. Okay. And then all I need to do is hold this end, slide my ruler along and it's already folded for me. And I can just give it a press. Just move that plastic so I don't melt it. So just double pin in the end, fold this up and slide the ruler along. Now you don't have to slide it along like that. You can just put the iron there. If you can see this, let me turn it around. Sometimes I'm at the wrong angle here. And you can just push the ruler along with your iron. This board is pretty small, but it works. So a bit of tension on this end, bring those two sides up, slide the ruler and press. Easy peasy. I think I've got a bit of salvage on that end which I would chop off anyway. And that's the bias. Now with the bias keeper, I'm 
going to just take this oh sorry how long is this this is about 30 inches I think 30 inches this whole piece so I want a one inch piece to go down the middle which I only need it to be about eight so I'm just going to chop this in half because I want to show you something else so my one inch I can take my one inch bias keeper now that's all nicely folded I can thread it through here that keeps my end secure and just wind it round like so keeps it nice and folded until I'm ready to use it okay stick a little pin in there so that's done now this one is an inch folded in half but I am going to want to fold it again so I'm going to go back to my hide a seam ruler just take this end I could put a little bit of glue on the end just to hold it And this time I'm looking for my half inch and I'm just going to thread it through the half inch like so pin it to the board and this is now going to fold this one inch bias strip in half without me burning my fingers we go now this is oodles long enough it's um, much longer than we need but I had a um, just a piece of fabric like this that I had cut down for something else so I've just used this to make my bias so now that's done for my half inch I can do the same with my other bias keeper just thread it through so you could make um, a lot of bias and just store it on these and just wind it round just like that stick a pin in the end And that's the bias done so I've got my two inch ironed to the center folded in half and then just my one inch bindings <laughs>